Hey guys, this is Josh with McCoy War of Four Gaming, and my brother! Joe. It's not his real name. <laughs> but today we're going to do a double whammy What's in the Box review with two of his guns. Because I am not, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do next. But i got more coming from you, i just got to play them. Yeah. So the first one is on the Double Eagle, or DE, Mac 11... M807. Which is like an Uzi. Basically. And it comes it's included got the no, with the gun, yeah. the magazine, the extending stock, which you have to pinch these two pieces together. We it took us a while to figure it out. <laughs> um, and then a silencer, which mock suppressor, mock suppressor which is like a bratwurst sling. <laughs> it's thicker than a gun. Look, it's thicker than the gun. Um, and you can see how long it is with everything. And without everything. Actually, fairly compact, and the iron sights are, they work well. <sighs> Comes with battery charger, gun, magazine, mm -hmm. this stuff, and a suppressor. Mm -hmm. To tell you, this gun is not worth two dollars. It, it will not shoot more than 20 or 30 feet, even though it has full and semi, it's ready to be a good gun. Actually, Air it might. I just... Airsoft Megastore, which is where he bought it, discontinued the weapon, if that tells you anything. It broke before we even got it. It would not shoot. I mean, every one in a hundred shots would shoot more than 30 or 40 feet. So, if you're shooting and you're like in a neighborhood battle where you rarely ever use it and you don't ever really get in large battles or you don't get more than like a CQB limit, it's a very decent, efficient <laughs> weapon for that, but that's about it. So, um, it's not suggest. I am not personally suggesting it, but Matthew message of the day could suggest it. So, how much was it? Like 60 bucks? Yeah. It's like 60 bucks for an Uzi. An electric Uzi. Full metal. So, but not it's, it's not worth anything. So, that's my suggestion. And the second thing is on Matthew's brand new DiTac M4, or Dynamic Tactical. That's what it stands for. Um, it's a polymer externals, but it has all metal internals, and it weighs about, what, five pounds? Yeah. With a metal magazine and the weapon. Now, a quick tip is any weapon that does not include a battery that's over like $150, they spend all their time on the weapon and not on the battery. If it comes with a battery, it's generally not as high quality as mm -hmm. like I need. So he bought it, it didn't come with one, and we were surprised because it was only $175. Um, but this is the tan version, and since it has the longer barrel piece, it can fit a M9 bayonet, I think. Yeah. Maybe. Standard 300 round metal magazine. Made in Hong Kong. Charging handle over here. Releases it. Hop up piece. Um, six point adjustable stock. It goes, the battery, you have to pull this little piece off. The battery goes in the stock and the wire goes, just stays there. But to reattach it, it's kind of hard. These two pieces you have to push inwards and then down so it actually fits in the grooves. Otherwise it won't fit on right like that. It will not fit on right, and it becomes kind of a pain in your butt. Um, and it has, we don't even know what this is for, but it has this piece. This helps release whenever you charge it like that. It helps release this pin. Um, you pull this back, and then the dust cover comes off, like if you want to rewire it to fit in here. But it has holes in it, so you can modify it to have rails on the dust cover, or just buy a better piece. It has sling attachments on it, um, full semi, and safe and it has the standard foregrip. Um, this uh, handle does come off and has a rail underneath it which you might not be able to see but it's a very nice weapon and it's tan so it's not standard black. <laughs> um, works, works pretty well for just 175 bucks. So it's great. What is you, you? I put one of my batteries in because it doesn't come with one. Yeah. So how did you feel whenever you shot it then? Pretty good. Was it like out of one to ten? What would you rate it for? One hundred and seventy-five dollars gun. Maybe an eight. It's DiTac, which not many people know about. But if yeah. you know about Crytac, DiTac is a just slight diversion on it. They make very good weapons and for relatively cheap. So mm -hmm. check them out on MSGI anywhere you go. So um, we have another video. I have another video coming for you, not him, um, but another video with my next. What's in the box later on? Today's Tuesday, so tomorrow, or no, yeah, today's Tuesday, so tomorrow is Wednesday, 
and I'll be uploading this video probably Thursday or Friday because I have already one to upload today. That's the one I already did. So tomorrow's the fight, and I'll upload a video, maybe one or two, for the fight tomorrow. And I'll upload this video Thursday or Friday, so it won't get up today. But when you see it, it'll be later, so. Yes. <laughs> um, leave, like I said in the before, leave a comment in, in the comment section below for the Whisper Challenge I'm doing with Busy on Gaming. Um, all that good junk. We're gonna just say something, anything you want to say. Um, just hashtag Whisper Challenge and then the, what the comment wants to say. It could be glasses or something stupid and we'll, it'll turn into the most weirdest, complex, horrible thing ever. And it's going to be Busy on Gaming, me, and probably him and Caleb, if you remember him from the other ones. Yeah. So, we're still working it out, but um, that'd be great, and see you guys later.